No! No! God. Sorry, I'm hungry. Hi guys, how's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be cooking a vegan Christmas dinner. Yes, I said vegan because I know the holidays are a very festive time full of food, but there's not that many vegan options. So today I'm going to be showing you a vegan Christmas dinner option that you can prepare easily at home. Nothing is very difficult and it's all super easy. So let's begin. The first thing we are going to be making is stuffed peppers and we're going to be stuffing them with tofu, corn and uh, quinoa. So the peppers that I got, I got festive colors, of course, red and green because it is Christmas time. So we are going to stay to that theme and it's going to help decorate your table and make it look nice and pretty and beautiful and yummy, of course. So the first thing we are going to do is, of course, clean out our peppers. And this is not usually the easiest thing to do, but I would just cut the lids off like this and then you can later top them again if you really want to but we're just going to get in there and cut out the seeds empty out this canvas this oh my gosh this can get a little messy but you have seeds flying everywhere it's not a problem it's easy to clean but yeah, so we're just going to make sure that our pepper is hollow so that you can fill it with all of your yummy ingredients. So then we're just going to go along and empty out all of our peppers. This one's my favorite, nice and big, you know, for a big healthy appetite like mine. Oh God, this is clean pepper okay so that's two I'm gonna make four because it is Christmas hopefully you're not eating alone but if you are I mean that's not a big deal either I've definitely celebrated alone before and it's not a big issue so you know if you are celebrating alone props to you we have our peppers oh, shit. still seeds flying Okay, so now we are going to prepare what we are going to be stuffing it with. And this couscous, I already have it, um, not couscous, sorry, quinoa, I already have it prepared. And it just comes in a packet. I got it at Trader Joe's and you just pop it in the microwave and in three minutes it's ready. So it's a lot faster than actually cooking it on the stove because that would have taken me probably like 40 minutes. So this is already prepared. The other thing I got, which is also super easy and cheap, is a can of sweet corn. So therefore you don't have to boil the corn and cut it off the cob. So this makes life a lot easier. So I'm going to go ahead and open this. Get my handy dandy utensil. Opening the corn. I love corn. I think corn's like one of my favorite vegetables. So I like to eat it whenever I can. Beautiful corn. So I'm just going to drain it in my sink. Making a bit of a mess. So we have our corn. You guys see that? Okay. Then we are going to take our tofu. And this also I got at Trader Joe's. It is just your regular, no preservatives, tofu organic. So this is going to be basically our protein. So I'm just going to cut into this because I'm cool like that. And this is more difficult than I thought. Yeah, sorry guys. Don't, be a, don't expect to be getting like a Gordon Ramsay, you know, type of demonstration here. I'm going to my sink again <laughs> to drain out my tofu. And I'm going to plop it out on my cutting board because we need to chop it up. This can go in the trash. And now I need a towel because my hands are wet. Ah, green towel. What do you know? Perfect. Okay. What was I doing? Right, okay. Cutting up the tofu. So this, you know, not that difficult. 
Choppity, choppity, choppity. Just gonna cut it into small pieces. You don't have to be exact because this is gonna be mixed up with all of our other ingredients and it will soften up and break up on its own also. But I just like to do little cubes and some of them fell over, so they will be cut on their own over here. Wow, the tower of tofu. Look at that. Glorious. I love chopping. It's like you can just get all your anger out. Okay, so we have our tofu. Now we need a bowl to mix it in. So now comes the fun seasoning part. We are going to mix up all of our ingredients, dropping the tofu in the bowl, adding our quinoa, adding our corn. And then we're also going to be adding some diced onions. You can also just get a fresh onion and cut it up. But to save time, I just got these diced onions at Trader Joe's because I knew I was going to use them all. And to save me some lovely chopping time, it's just much easier to pour some out of the packet. Mm, definitely onions. But yeah, onions are just going to soften everything up and give it a yummy flavor. I think that's about enough onions. And then we are going to add some olive oil. I cook almost everything on olive oil because, I don't know, it's like the healthier alternative and it just tastes amazing and I feel like it's a great way to cook your food. So we are going to pour in some olive oil. Oops. You can always add more later, but I think that's good for now. And then we are going to season it and you can season these stuffed peppers how you like. I'm going to do salt and pepper and add a little bit of spice because, you know, we like it spicy and they're red. So, you know, Christmas time, Christmas vegan dinner, spice, chili, great. Salted. And then adding some black pepper. I, yeah, I season things pretty liberally. I like a little flavor, but if you have some kind of diet restrictions and you don't want salt or anything, feel free to leave that part out. So add a little bit of spice. Maybe that is considered a lot by some people. Oh yes, garlic. I love garlic. And we are going to be added some granulated garlic. You can also add fresh garlic if you do not have the spice and you happen to have some fresh garlic. It'll definitely liven up your dinner. Let's see. And then we are just going to mix it all up. I think I'm just going to take, I didn't even know I had a spoon like this, but it's pretty cool. So we are just mixing up our beautiful ingredients. It smells good already and it's not even cooked. There we go. And if you see, feel like some of the pieces are large, feel free to break them up. Do as you please. So then, so we have our tray, which we are going to lay out our, which our peppers on. And I'm just trying to make some room here because I don't have as much room as I thought. But um, I've already preheated my oven and it's at 400 degrees right now. So that's good. But I'm just gonna use this olive oil spray. You can also use the actual olive oil, but I feel like this is just easier to spread. And I'm just gonna grease our pan. Perfect done and so then we are going to start stuffing our peppers for our vegan christmas dinner yay so super easy just fill up the cave 
with our concoction. There we go. One little pepper. Oh my. <laughs> Two pepper. Oh no, this one doesn't stand. Well, if it doesn't stand, I think we're gonna have to improvise here and make a bottom. Just can chop off the butt. <laughs> ah. Great. Well, there we go. The pepper stands solution. Problem averted. Let's see if these stand. Mm. Yeah, no. Mm. I'll cut this one a little bit because we'll un. Yeah, that's better. That one's okay. So, stuffing, stuffing peppers. Oops, I'm just all over the place. There we go. Our beautiful peppers are stuffed. And they're vegan and they are glorious. And so now we are going to be popping them in the oven. And what happened to the lid of oh, the fourth one? Oh, somewhere always. So I'm just gonna cover them for now. And we're gonna cook them covered for 20 minutes. No, no, God. I thought that was going so well. <laughs> I was on a roll. Oh, damn it. Come on. Come on, Christina. You got this. Maybe I need to cut the bottom off of this one too. Oh no. I think that'll do better. Anyways, not everything goes perfectly. And as you know, during the holidays, definitely does not go. Well, anyways. As I was saying, we're going to be cooking these for 20 minutes covered and then we're going to take the lids off and finish cooking it for another 10 to 15 minutes depending on your oven and how you see the coloration happening. But yeah, so what we're doing is let's hope I can get this there safely. And, and I think we're safe for now. So while those are cooking, we are going to start preparing our potatoes. The next thing we are gonna be making for our vegan Christmas dinner is roasted rosemary potatoes. And this is one of my favorite things to prepare, even when it's not Christmas, I love to prepare these potatoes because they're vegan and they're delicious and it's just super easy thing to prepare. So all we are doing is chopping up our potatoes and I'm actually gonna grease my pan already so that I can just plop them in there as I cut and save myself some time. Actually, no, I'm lying. I'm lying. That's not what I need to be doing. That's a lie. I'm sorry, guys. I don't mean to be steering you in the wrong direction. We are actually going to be putting them in here first because we're going to have to mix them up with our ingredients. So we are chopping. Chopping. Potatoes are pretty hard, but that's good. And I love these little new baby potatoes because their skin isn't thick and you don't have to peel it off and it just makes life so much easier. And I'm all about making life easier, you know? Oh no. I feel like I've said oh no like 20 times already. That an indicator of my professionalism in the kitchen but nevertheless trust me this is going to be delicious there we 
there we go potatoes are chopped and now we are going to be seasoning them and mixing them in our bowl so again i'm going to be pouring some olive oil this huge thing of olive oil i got at costco and i found it very cost effective to get this huge container because i use it all the time and olive oil can get expensive so on the potatoes you can be generous with the oil because they do absorb a lot of oil and when they do they're actually a lot tastier so that's a little secret i'm going to be adding again some garlic powder to our concoction over here generous with the garlic and then of course our regular salt and pepper pepper and of course the kicker to this recipe and that makes it christmas festive is adding the rosemary mm, which smells like a fresh christmas tree yeah it smells great anyways we're just breaking up our rosemary and kicking throwing it into our mix you don't need too much of it because it has a pretty strong aroma which will spread once it starts cooking and mixing in with the olive oil and all the other ingredients. So I think that is enough for us. And we are just going to mix up our potatoes. I think I'm gonna add a little more oil because you want them greased up pretty well. we go these are called Christmas tree potatoes no I'm kidding but it does kind of look like it we're just gonna put it out onto our greased pan oh it's so pretty and green and then this too we are gonna plop in the oven and these are actually gonna cook a little longer these will probably take about 40 minutes to cook and you want to kind of reach in there two or three times during it and mix them up a little bit to make sure all the sides cook evenly. But other than that, it's easy, low maintenance. You just shove it in there and wait. So off you go. Oh, the peppers are sizzling already. Da, 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 da. So the next thing we are going to be cooking while our stuff is in the oven is our coleslaw salad. And this is a perfect addition to our vegan Christmas dinner because it will provide us with some raw vegetables and give us a refreshing little taste for our palate. So all you're going to be needing is cabbage, red or green, it doesn't matter. I just got a chopped up container to save time. We are going to be needing some celery stalks which you can also play the drums with if you really want to, but you don't have to. Um, and then we are going to be needing two little apples or one large apple. And then we are going to be needing some raisins. You can also use cranberries if you like, but I like raisins. And then we are going to be using Veganaise to mix it all up in and make a delicious coleslaw. And then and that's basically it. So let's make our salad. Wow. Wow. Okay, that was the last thing I was expecting to happen. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Hopefully, I have enough cabbage left here to prepare this coleslaw. But look how pretty it made my table look. I totally meant to do that. I mean, I totally... Can't you see how beautiful the table looks now? Look at this. So festive. Wow. Wow. I'm a true artist. Okay. <sighs> okay, let's collect the cabbage that I can. Anyways, I think I'll just leave that there for now. I'm gonna get our celery. I'm gonna cut off the bad parts of this. And then we are going to slice it in half. Well, now that I have less cabbage, maybe I need less celery. Oh God, okay. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna use one celery clove given the situation. 
um, calls for you know a bit of a change in the recipe but uh, we're just gonna cut it up into small thin slivers Careful, don't cut your fingers. Oh, man. I still can't believe I just did that. Okay. We're adding our celery into our cabbage. Get in there, you naughty celery. And then. Also, given our circumstances, I'm gonna be using one apple now. So <laughs> these extra ingredients are no longer necessary. So we are just gonna be chopping up our apple. Just get all the good parts off the core. Dun, da, 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 da. And we are just gonna cut it into small pieces. So crunchy. There, I'm not. Sorry, I'm hungry. <laughs> mm. Feel free to eat while you cook because you need to nourish yourself, you know, and give yourself a little taste of the yumminess that's to come. <laughs> Onyx, don't worry. Vegan dinner is coming. You want to help me cook? Yeah? No? Onyx, come here. You want to help me cook? Come here. You want a little apple? I just had an apple. No? Usually he likes apples, but I guess not today. No. Okay. Go play. Okay. So we have those ingredients. I'm going to open this a little more carefully now because I've realized I don't have ninja skills like I thought I did. So I'm just going to take this easy, nice and slow. Yeah. Let's think about that. And we are going to be adding some raisins. You don't want to add too many. But just about that many for this amount works. Just kind of use your eyeball. But if you do love raisins, feel free to add the whole bag. If you want a raisin salad, I mean, that's whatever you get off on, you know. So then we are going to be adding our veganaise with some salt, a little bit of salt, and that's it. So here's our veganaise. We are pouring it out into our coleslaw. Get all that goodness in there. I'm just gonna put the salt right on the veganaise so that when it spreads, it spreads with it. And then we are just mixing up our coleslaw and again feel free to use as much of the vegan mayo that you like if you like it a little creamier add more if you're on a diet use less you know just use your rationing but there we go our coleslaw our vegan coleslaw is ready for our vegan christmas dinner it is delicious it is fresh and it's ready to go. Cabbage party. Okay, so the last thing <laughs> we are gonna be making for our vegan Christmas dinner is a vegan eggnog, and this is gonna be a cranberry eggnog. So I got this almond nog at Trader Joe's, and this is what we're gonna be using today. And then we're also gonna be needing some fresh cranberries 
to add a little festive flair to the eggnog and make it red and beautiful and Christmassy. And then we're gonna need some ground cinnamon for flavoring and some ground nutmeg. And that's it guys. You're gonna need a Nutribullet or a blender or whatever you use to blend things at home. And all we are doing is combining all of our ingredients in our blending cup. So there goes my eggnog. Mm, smells pretty good. I've never had this before. So usually I would use just regular almond milk or something, but since they had this, I'm like, why not? Yes, I'm gonna be careful, don't you worry. There we go. And we're gonna be adding about a half, oh no, this is wonderful. We're gonna be adding some cranberries, just about a handful per portion to add a little bit of flavor. And then again, use your eyeballs and we are gonna be adding some cinnamon. And some nutmeg. And then I am just going to be closing the lid. Or oh, you know that. I'm just going to blend it over here because this is where I have the outlet. <sighs> my head spun, my eggnog is spun. Now we just need a glass for it. Mm, that smells really good. It's like fruity and cinnamony. Pouring that right in and then feel free to garnish it with a dash of nutmeg. And there we go. This is our finished eggnog. And yes. So here we go, guys. This is our finished eggnog. It is delicious. Mm, smells divine. So I cannot wait to have this with my vegan Christmas dinner. And you know, if you wanna add a little flavor, you can also add a little alcohol to it. Therefore, you can have an even more fun Christmas dinner. So, Miss Cooking Ninja here is done with our vegan Christmas dinner. So I'm about to take the potatoes out. They are finally done roasting in our oven. Our wonderful rosemary potatoes. So, this is it guys. This is our vegan Christmas dinner. And today we have stuffed peppers with tofu, corn, and quinoa. We have rosemary roasted potatoes. We have a coleslaw, which features apples and raisins and celery. And of course, our grand finale, we have our eggnog, which is cranberry infused with cinnamon and nutmeg. This is what I'm going to be having for Christmas and I'm super excited to dig in, but let me know what you guys like to eat for Christmas and what your favorite meal is. Let me know what you guys are planning to cook. And if you do try any of these out, definitely let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear what you guys think. Okay. I. I'm going to be having the green pepper because green is my favorite color. So I'm going to put that there and for presentation purposes, I want my little hat. Yeah, get on there. Let's get us some roasted potatoes. Some coleslaw. 
Mm, mm, mm. So yummy. Voila, guys. Here is our vegan Christmas dinner. It is delicious. It is healthy. It is homemade. And obviously, you guys saw how quick it was to make it. It only took about 15 minutes to prepare all of our ingredients. And the whole cooking process only took about 45 minutes. So it is not super strenuous. And the best part about this meal is that it is super cost effective. All of this I got for under $45. So it is really affordable. You do not need to splurge for Christmas. You can have a delicious meal on a budget and be very happy with it. Thank you guys for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and definitely let me know in the comments below what you guys thought. I'm about to dig into this meal, so don't mind me, but I will see you guys next time and thank you for watching my vegan Christmas dinner. And happy Christmas to everybody.